the first three days were, were very hectic, but I kind of took a step back and, and just to enjoy the moment. And to, let, to make sure my family could enjoy the moment. But our, our staff has been great. Uh, I'll keep every coach throughout the bowl game. Uh, there'll be some guys that leave, but uh, just trying to get the players to make sure that they have a world-class experience down here and to really enjoy this bowl game because of all the hard work they put into it since August. That was our main goal, to make sure these players had a great experience. And we have a, a wonderful team. It's, it's a player-driven team, so it's, it's easy to lead those guys. So it's been crazy, but exciting. It's been great. You know, these guys are prof professionals. They know what they have to do in order to have a chance to win this football game against a great opponent, UAB. But it's been business as usual. And I really appreciate their effort and, and to make sure that our players take care of this week. One of the changes that does have to occur is you know, you're, you're going to have to manage play call. Yeah. How is that transition going to take place? Who's going to be aware of how's that going to happen? Well, it, it'll be a collective uh, group effort for the bowl game. Garrett Riley will call the plays. Um, but again, it's something we've done all year. Even when Coach Drink was uh, calling the plays, we had a, game, a collective game played together. We knew what we wanted to call, and it's, it's just a different guy calling the plays. Uh, it'll it'll still, still be our offense and our defense. And, and Coach, you're sure you can get fifth consecutive goal without having to worry about the Again, it's, it's our program. It's, it's bigger than one person, bigger than one coach. Um, it's just what's been built in Boone, North Carolina is, is, is a, unbelievable. And we just get our kind of guys. And uh, it's kind of hard to explain until you're there. Of Our program is a family-based program. And our guys love to play football. And it shows them the field every Saturday. With the notoriety you've got, it is. I think it speaks volumes to our conference. Uh, from top to bottom, the Sunbelt Conference is a very tough conference. And every week, if you don't play your very best, you have a chance to get beat. Uh, but again, I think our commissioners done a great job of scheduling. Our university's done a great job of scheduling. And again, in this conference, it is a tough conference to play in. And that's really uh, prepared us for the bowl games. It's prepared us uh, to play non-conference Power Five opponents. And uh, again, we just want to win. Coach, it's very hard to win It's very, it's even harder to win four conference championships in a row. What's been the secret? I mean, you talked about family, you know, having the program being a family. What's it, you know, what's the secret? Because that's very hard to do. That's very hard to do. It's, it's the players. It's, it, when, you're a, when you have a great football team, you have great players. When you have great players, you're, you're a good football coach. Um, but again, it just goes back to our work ethic. We're a blue-collar program, and we, we're a developmental program that, um, that just likes to seize the opportunity. And, Again, talk about our program of where it's at, where it's going. Uh, we're not done yet. Nationally, you guys might be best known nationally as a school that beat Michigan 12 years ago. How much is that still a part of the identity of the program? Do you feel like maybe you feel the, the uh, facility or anything like that? And then what do you feel like is sort of the next level that this program can get considered the FBM success? Again, we do hear about Michigan, but I'm not sure if Many of our players remember it. I mean, they talk about it, but we're always trying to live in the present and to do what we do. And, and again, we went to North Carolina and beat North Carolina there, went to South Carolina beat those guys there. But, and our, our players are making a name for themselves. I mean, we talk about tradition in the past, but um, we're looking for the, toward the future. And again, I'm not sure where, the, where we're going to go as a program. I know the Sunbelt Conference is fantastic, and that's where we are. Sean, you've got a group of seniors relatively small group. It's hard to imagine this particular crew of them being much more impactful. As somebody who played that and you were part of a foundational program yourself, how would you kind of define where these guys' spot is in the history of that state? 
I'm not sure the exact record. I think it was, was it 52 and 10, I believe, the, the numbers. Um, but what these guys have done, their, their five years in Boone, is, is remarkable. And it speaks to what kind of the character they have and the passion they have and, and shows on the field. But again, it marks, it, it ranks at the very top. You know, you'll get a chance to talk to these guys later on and they'll explain what it means to them. Coach, let me know your opponent, UAB, is known for their defense, obviously from your offensive background. What impresses you the most and maybe what kind of scares you and how does this offense have to step up? UAB is a, a very good football team. We had a chance to visit with them this summer and, and toss around a few ideas. And I, I have so much respect for Bill, uh, Coach Clark um, and of what he's done with that program. You look at their tape and, and they play extremely hard. They're, they're long. They have speed. You know, and again, the tape speaks for itself. And I know for us, we have to just uh, play our game and, and our playmakers have to make plays. But again, I can't say enough about Coach Clark and his program, what he's done. And you turn the tape on, you see why he won so many games. Anyone else? Thank you.